reflections or the lack of reflections are often one of the main things that separate amateur car photography to professional looking car photography. Today we'll be going through four main ways that you can remove reflections from your car photos. But first, the intro. <laughs> The number one way, and often the most preferred way, is to use an ND filter. If you're serious about car photography, then an ND filter is a must when it comes to making an early investment. So the rest of the methods on this list will all be inside of Photoshop. The second method to removing reflections is the spot healing brush tool. So let's jump inside of Photoshop. On the left hand side you'll see a list of tools. The spot healing brush tool is the icon that looks like a band-aid or plaster and if you right click over that icon we see a few more options. The option at the top here is the one that we want. This is fairly simple to use, just make sure that the mode is set to normal, the type is set to content aware and sample all layers is ticked and also make sure that you've clicked the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If we take a look at our image here we can see that we have all of these disgusting looking reflections. Adjust the size of your brush accordingly and simply paint over the unwanted area. So the way that this tool works is it gathers data from outside of the selection and decides on what should be inside the selection. Now if this didn't work for you then that's okay because we've still got two more methods to removing unwanted reflections. Method number three is the clone stamp tool. Back over on the left hand side of the screen you want to click on the icon that looks like a little stamp. I always used to think this looked like a little man then I realized oh yeah it's a stamp because it's called the clone stamp tool. Yeah. Basically the way that this tool works is it takes information from one area and copies it to another area. A big downside to using this tool is that it's destructive. What does this mean? Well, you can't use this tool on a layer that's a smart object, meaning that you can't revert back long after you've made changes. Not only this, but you can't have this effect on a separate layer above your original image, like you can with the Spot Healing Brush tool. To use this tool, click on the Clone Stamp icon, press Alt on your keyboard, and click the area that you want to copy. Then use the tool like a normal brush to erase the unwanted reflections. Just remember, when you move the brush, the area that you first copied also moves in relation to the brush. And there we have it, reflections gone. Now if this didn't work for you, then that's okay because we've still got one more method on the list. The last method on the list is my own personal favorite, and that is the brush tool. To use this tool, create a new layer, rename it to whatever you want, press the like button, then select the brush icon on the left side of the screen. Press down Alt while you select an area. This is to select a color that matches the color of the car. You're then simply going to paint over the reflections. One problem with this is that when you zoom in, we can clearly see that the texture of the new layer is different to the original image. How can we fix this? We'll go to Filter, Noise and Add Noise. Zoom in and try and match the noise of the image as best as possible. Right around there I think. And there we have it. Four ways to get rid of unwanted reflections. Don't forget to like the video for the YouTube algorithm. Comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.